What's happening everyone, my name is Alex and welcome back. In today's video we are checking out one of the latest robot vacuums from Trifo called Lucy. So this is not only a robot vacuum, so a device that can mop and vacuum throughout your house, this is also a security camera at the same time. So on the front here we have a little camera and you can see everything that the vacuum sees throughout the house, you can also drive the vacuum in different parts of your house and of course see everything through that camera. The vacuum also has this feature where it can send you notifications every time it senses some motion in front of that camera. So let's say that you're not at home and all of a sudden you get a notification from the vacuum because something moved in front of the vacuum then you can open the app and see the live view so that's why i said this is also a security camera aside from a robot vacuum we are gonna start with a very quick unboxing so the vacuum comes in a relatively small box compared to its size and other robot vacuums that i've seen in the past and of course inside the box you're gonna find everything you need so you can start vacuuming right away we have the robot vacuum itself, we also have the mopping module, so you can attach and detach that from the bottom of the vacuum, it's very simple to do. In the box there is also the docking station, so that's where the vacuum will stay most of the time and that's where the vacuum is gonna go to recharge whenever it's low on power. So let's say that we have a pretty big house, the vacuum will go around the vacuuming and once it runs out of power it can go back to its dock, it will charge by itself and then it will continue vacuuming. But again, it depends how big um, your house is. For my house, that's not that big. That's not the case. The vacuum can finish vacuuming um, on one charge. And aside from that, of course, we have the user manual. So the user manual could come in handy, mostly if this is um, your first robot vacuum that you've had. The vacuum looks like most robot vacuums that we've been seeing over the past few years. So it has a round shape and it is mostly made out of um, plastic. On the front here we have that camera that I mentioned earlier. The camera can see during the day and of course at night. So we have an infrared um, LED in there. On the front here we have some other sensors and of course a bumper. Basically the vacuum will bump into objects that doesn't see and then it will turn around. So that's the purpose of this bumper. And we also have a rubber strip on the bumper here. So if the vacuum hits a chair for example it's not gonna damage uh, that chair or whatever furniture it may hit. We also have some more sensors on the back and at the bottom. The sensors at the bottom are useful so the vacuum doesn't fall down the stairs, for example. And I did have this um, cleaning neck to some stairs um, on a few occasions and nothing happened to it. So it didn't fall. So those sensors at the bottom also work. At the bottom we also have a little brush. That brush spins and basically pushes the dirt towards the main suction um, hole at the bottom. And we also have a brush at the bottom there. That brush at the bottom can also be removed and cleaned because it will catch a lot of hair over time. The dustbin and the filter are located at the top here, so the top opens and it's super simple to remove the dustbin. We basically have a push button, you push that and um, you take this out. This is also one of the biggest dustbins that I've seen for any vacuum um, up until now. And we also have um, a few buttons here so you can set up um, the vacuum the first time um, you get it. So the vacuum basically connects to your Wi-Fi network at home and then you control the vacuum from its app. The app is called the Trifo Home and this is available for Android and iOS and of course you have to download it depending on the phone that you have. From the app, not only that you can start and stop a cleaning cycle, you can send the vacuum back to its base to recharge, you can also set a schedule. So if you want the vacuum to start vacuuming every day or every two days or whatever you decide, you can set all that from the app. You can also change the suction power. I personally use mine at the maximum suction power because this way it can go over one area once and leave that area clean. This works good over carpets and hard floors. At my house, um, I have mostly hard floors, so it's been over hard floors um, most of the time, but you can easily use this over carpets as well. In the app, you can also see a map of your house and you can see exactly where the vacuum is at all times. And you can also see where it vacuumed and where it hasn't vacuumed. You can also set different zones in your house. So for example, if you don't want the vacuum to go in a certain part of your house, you can make a little zone where the vacuum is not allowed. So the vacuum is just gonna go around that um, area that you decide. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, you can also see the live view from that front um, camera. So whenever the vacuum is vacuuming, you can turn 
on the live view so not only the vacuum vacuums but you can also use it to see around the house so if you have pets at home you can just watch the live view and of course you can see everything around the house wherever the vacuum goes you can also control this manually so there is a manual control in there you can turn on or off the suction power whenever you're doing that and you can move it around the house you can basically drive it throughout the house like a little rc car and you can see everything that the vacuum sees in different parts of your home like most robot vacuums that I've tried in the past, it is ideal if you remove any cables that you have on the floor, so like a phone charger, any small toys and stuff like that, because you don't want the vacuum to get stuck on something when you're not at home. Now, this one does seem to detect most objects on the floor and goes around them. I'm assuming it's using that front camera to do that. These are a couple of examples, just so you can see how the obstacle avoidance from this vacuum works. So it's definitely using that front camera that it has to look ahead and see what's in front of it. So if you have some shoes on the floor, if you have some socks or some toys, this one is not gonna run them over. It will basically stop right next to them and go around them. Other vacuums that I've seen in the past would try to push those objects out of the way, but this one will avoid them as much as possible. However, it is ideal to try to remove everything from the floor before you have the vacuum go vacuuming. So there you have it, this is the Trifle Lucy, a robot that vacuums, mops and acts as a security camera for um, your home. So three in one um, basically. Alright guys, hopefully this video was useful, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.